Loka Guru, we're here for another video and today we're going to explore Google Classroom. Tara! So, noong nakaraang video, we had a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create and invite pupils in Google Classroom. So, this time, we are going to explore kung ano pa ang kayang gawin ng Google Classroom. So, first, ang gawin natin, make sure na meron na kayong nagawang class. Okay. So, ito yung nagawa natin last time. So, this time, we are going to communicate with our students through giving instructions, assignment, quizzes, ganon. So, let's have a message for your class. Hello. Hello, kids. So, just a reminder that your math project is just until Friday. Okay? So, due on Friday. So, lagyan natin ng... You can have attachment from Google Drive, link, file, and YouTube. Okay? So, try natin post. Pwedeng i-post ka agad, pwedeng i-schedule, and then say draft. So, magkaroon tayo ng schedule. Let's try May 15, and then... Meron tayong oras, 9 a.m. Ayan. Okay, so next. So, eto naman sa kabila yung students. Okay, so this time, papasok tayo dito sa classwork. Okay, classwork. Click assignment. Ayan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng assignment for our pupils, for our students. Let's Type fractions, read and solve the problem, show your solution. So, kasi mathematics tayo, you can have the attachment from Google Drive. So, ito talaga, kailangan nating gamitin ang ating Google Drive. So, make sure alam nyo na kung paano mag-open ng Google Drive, paano mag-attach ng file, ganon. So, isipin nyo lang na fraction yan, okay? So, make a copy for each student. And then... Points and graded, and then click May 15. Okay, for submission. Okay, and then ang topic natin, pwede natin ilagay yung specific kung saan sila gagawa or ano yung unit. So let's say unit one. Okay, schedule. Okay, schedule natin. Schedule ng assignment. Hindi pwedeng lalagpas sa due. Okay? So, pwede tayo before the due. Due date. Okay? Next, try natin yung create quiz assignment. Yung quiz naman. So, kapag quiz, automatic sa baba, merong blank quiz. Oops, math tayo. So, papalitan natin ng adding dissimilar fractions. Ayan. Ayan. So, pwede tayo mag-drag and drop classwork. Okay. Just got it. And then, punta tayo dito sa baba. Okay, blank quiz. Try natin. Pwede tayong gumawa ng quiz. Diba? Diba? So, you change this one into quiz number one, or quiz one, and then yung description ng ating quiz is multiple choice. Ayan, multiple choice. Okay, so, question... What is the LCD of... Okay, so meron tayong option 1, option 2. So, ganun. Okay, pwede, pwede mo nang gawin yun pagpatuloy yun. So, another is questions. Okay, so pwede tayong gumawa ng 
questions and then next is materials material okay you can add attachment from google drive okay pwede tayong magbigay ng mga files sa kanila na nasa ating google drive okay so yan i-add nyo lang click add so automatic pupunta na yun doon sa attachment natin How about reuse post? So, yung mga na-post mo na sa mga nakaraang klase na nakaschedule, pwede mo yung i-reuse ulit o gagamitin natin ulit. Okay? How about add topic? Okay, add topic. Unit 1, unit 1, or unit 4. So, add natin dyan. Okay? So, eto na yung mga gagawin ng ating mga sergeante. Okay? So, invite students walang available. Pero pag may mga sujante ka na, na nag-add, so automatic mag-appear dyan sa baba ang kanilang mga email address. Okay? Lalo na yung mga sujante mo na nabigyan mo na ng code, so yo, for sure, papasok sila sa Google Classroom and then ayan. So gagamitin nila yung code para makapasok doon sa klase ninyo. lang po, madali lang po. So, just explore and explore. Marami pong magagawa pa ang Google Classroom natin. Maraming salamat po kaguro. Sana nagustuhan ninyo and please subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you!